It has been called a national epidemic. It has hit every single demographic, a crisis that crosses all social and economic lines. Four months ago, DeAndre Abrams was convicted for his role in a deadly opioid overdose involving fentanyl. This week, he learned he would pay for that crime by forfeiting his freedom. Here's 13 on your side's John Hogan. Federal prosecutors say DeAndre Abrams sold the fentanyl as heroin. The victim in this case was a U.S. Marine veteran suffering from PTSD. Now he thought he was buying heroin. You don't necessarily know what you're getting. And we're seeing fentanyl getting mixed in with heroin or sometimes just straight sold up. That is what happened in this case. U.S. Marine veteran Brandon Demko died in Kalamazoo from an overdose in March of 2017. Uh, it is a very, very potent drug. Doesn't take much to cause death. DeAndre Abrams, the 27-year-old supplier, was known to police. He has two prior drug convictions, one which resulted in prison. That prior conviction played into the life sentence handed down this week in federal court. U.S. Attorney Andrew Byrd says these types of prosecutions are a priority for his office. No, no matter what quantity of fentanyl we're talking about, uh, that's because fentanyl is so deadly. Byrd says synthetic fentanyl is fairly cheap to make and to get. A lot of it comes from overseas. And so it can be mailed. Um, and uh, so we're seeing uh, the drug uh, enter into our community through uh, new streams. Kent County Medical Examiner Dr. Stephen Cole says about a third of Kent County's overdose deaths last year were from fentanyl. And uh, I don't know if the dealers even know what they're selling, whether it's pure heroin, pure fentanyl, or a mixture. Uh, unfortunately, is uh, the latest scourge of our community in the opioid overdose crisis. Bird says prosecution is only one answer to the opioid crisis. But we also recognize that we're not prosecuting our way out of this crisis. Education, prevention, and treatment, he says, are critically important. And it's going to take some time to get out from under this. Meanwhile, federal prosecutions continue. A suspected drug dealer was indicted last month with providing fentanyl used in a deadly overdose last summer. In Grand Rapids, John Hogan, 13 on your side.